Explore the convoluted world of anxiety, its historical context, cultural variations, far-reaching impacts, and proven strategies to manage this common yet complex human experience. Diving right into a conversation about anxiety, we understand it as an inherent human response to perceived threats. Symptoms ignite, from restlessness and worry to palpable increases in heart rate. This pervasive reaction intertwines within our daily life, underscoring our existence with a heightened sense of anticipation and foreboding. However, we have grown to comprehend this phenomenon with depth and nuance. What was once attributed to supernatural influences is now the subject of careful psychological scrutiny. As our lens focuses on the interplay of genetics and environment, we're inching toward more compassionate and scientifically backed interpretations. And while anxiety remains a labyrinthine condition, nuanced in its presentation, society now bolsters those navigating through it with advanced solutions. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, for instance, empowers individuals through skill building while medication serves as a stabilizing force, all supplemented by lifestyle alterations. Just as anxiety presents along a spectrum, solutions too are tailor-made to suit the unique variations of the human experience. Anxiety unveils itself as an uninvited guest that overstays and overwhelms. Our body's response to a perceived threat, while necessary for survival, is exaggerated resulting in a cascade of reactions such as worry, tension, and physical changes like raised heart rate and muscle tension. We transcend from survival to an overzealous response, grappling with persistent and disproportionate worries about future threats. But this isn't your everyday stress or fear. Your school examination might cause stress, a fleeting tolerable experience. Anxiety distinguishably is a persistent and overwhelming response without a proportionate trigger. Anticipatory anxiety, a hallmark feature, marks our actions with excessive caution or even avoidance behaviors far beyond momentary caution spurred by stress. This understanding teases apart the difference between normal stress or fear and anxiety. Anxiety is less a punctuated event, but an enduring and often debilitating state. A biochemical orchestra within us, neurotransmitters like serotonin and GABA are at play. Chronic anxiety, due to its persistent nature, can lead to serious health ramifications, from heart diseases to immune complications. To illustrate, consider a potential danger. It triggers spikes in cortisol and adrenaline, heightening alertness. However, our fear response, if always reverberating at this pitch, can lead to chronic anxiety disorders such as generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, panic disorder, and social anxiety disorder. Cognitive distortions, coined by Aaron T. Beck, are warped perceptions of reality contributing notably to anxiety. Catastrophizing, an example of such distortion, envisions only the worst-case scenarios. Such patterns are simultaneously debilitating and self-perpetuating, triggering and reinforcing anxiety, landing us in a paralyzing loop. Cognitive behavioral therapy, armed with knowledge of these distortions, challenges and modifies these destructive cognitive processes. Bridging the gap between our perceptions and reality, it equips individuals with coping strategies, thereby dampening the debilitating clasp of anxiety. Transitioning from cognitive to biological influences, let's look at pharmacotherapy, a biological basis facilitating anxious thought processes. Serotonin, a neurotransmitter with roles in signal transmission in nerves, greatly influences mood. SSRIs, strengthening the serotonin balance, assist in alleviating anxiety symptoms. So whether it's distorted thought or a neurochemical imbalance, anxiety traverses the spectrum, integrating cognitive and biological domains, while CBT tackles warped thought patterns, SSRIs redress the biological imbalance. Recognizing this multitude of influences brings us closer to tailor-specific, holistic solutions. Culture, as a collective framework, greatly influences our perceptions and interpretations of anxiety. For example, language barriers can hinder proper detection and diagnosis of anxiety in immigrants. Absence of direct translations to describe their emotional experiences might result in symptoms going unnoticed or misunderstood. Furthermore, historical backgrounds and shared trauma often cast collective subjectivity over personal experiences. For instance, in war-stricken communities, anxiety might simply be perceived as a part of collective suffering, rather than as a standalone individual condition. Taking a leap into the digital age, we note a distinct dichotomy. 
The rise of digital worlds, including social media and mental health apps, can serve as a double-edged sword, potentially amplifying or mitigating anxiety depending on individual adaptation. The cultural dialogue surrounding anxiety is as ever-evolving. We see a gradual shift from metaphorical expressions to more open discussions of mental health concerns, further driving the narrative and fostering empathy towards understanding anxiety. The takeaway? Our conversations about anxiety, its recognition or management, are not isolated but deeply rooted within the cultural context we inhabit. Going forward, there is an undeniably heightened need for sensitivity and an integrative understanding of these elements in our approach to anxiety. Invisible battles with mental health manifest differently within each individual. Social anxiety and obsessive-compulsive disorder, for instance, hijack daily life differently, varying even within demographics. What binds these seemingly disparate conditions, though, is the gripping hold of anxiety. As we delve into these case studies, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, shines through as a transformational technique. It's intricately tailored to address distinct features. For social anxiety, it negates debilitating social thoughts or for generalized anxiety disorders, GAD. It becomes a tool to manage uncertainty. That said, the blend of therapy with medication further amplifies its impact. In the case of OCD, when selective serotonin reuptake, inhibitors mesh symbiotically with exposure and response prevention, ERP. It revolutionizes treatment. Such combinations emphasize that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Personalized treatment plans reflecting the unique intricacies of each disorder ensure a nuanced approach. Understanding the spectrum of anxiety disorders, their triggers and treatment catalysts our journey towards mental health wellness. Our exploration unravels the complex biological causes of anxiety, beginning with the intricate neurobiology. Stress activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal, HPA, axis, vaulting cortisol levels. Over time, this heightened activation nurtures susceptibility to anxiety. This is compounded by neuroplastic changes in our brain, where constant bursts of anxiety strengthen the connections between our primal threat detector, the amygdala, and the rational prefrontal cortex, making future anxiety reactions more likely. Internet and digital media serve as an unprecedented sociocultural experiment, an aspect we cannot ignore when examining anxiety. This ever-connected world often cultivates social comparison, a well-known trigger for anxiety. The digital landscape, however, also offers pathways for mitigation. Mindfulness strategies and cognitive behavioral therapy help recalibrate our perceptions, providing solace amid the high-frequency information waves. This intricate dance between our biology and our environment is beautifully represented in the image on this slide. It illustrates the vast connections and pathways involved in anxiety sparking in our brains and manifesting in our behavior, further emphasizing the complexity and uniqueness of each individual's experience with anxiety. The physical repercussions of anxiety extend beyond the mental sphere, impacting our body's health in profound days. Persistent anxiety activates our autonomic nervous system, designed to regulate our fight-or-flight instinct. Yet, chronic activation can spike adrenaline and cortisol levels, causing high blood pressure and straining the heart, possibly leading to significant cardiovascular concerns. Gastrointestinal health is also at risk, triggered by the gut-brain axis's role in anxiety. We can see this in conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, which showcase the physical toll of mental strain. Addressing these effects necessitates a recognition of anxiety as more than a mental concern, emphasizing holistic treatment. Anxiety doesn't stop at personal health. It invades our daily lives, disrupting routines, impairing work efficiency, and straining relationships. Imagine losing your job due to performance stagnation caused by anxiety disrupting concentration and judgment. Then let's magnify this onto a person's everyday life and well-being. The anxiety builds, leading to social withdrawal, escalating existing mental health issues, effectively creating a cyclical effect of continual decline. Recognizing such wide-reaching implications underscores the need for prompt action. Our reaction doesn't have to be negative. Coping mechanisms, both healthy and unhealthy, exist as potential responses. Exercise and meditation are considered beneficial, while substance abuse is harmfully counterproductive. Crucially, communication provides insight forging understanding and relationships and personal well-being. Knowledge of these strategies affords us the agency to administer proactive care in the face of anxiety. 
Conquering anxiety calls for an arsenal of stratagem. Personalized treatment plans stand at the front line, marrying different therapeutic techniques to tame the varying degrees of anxiety. An exemplary blend unites cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, designed to reshape negative thought patterns and spur positive ones, with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, a class of medications that manage anxiety by maintaining brain serotonin levels. They function in harmony to mitigate the sweeping symptoms of anxiety. As the field evolves, we encounter promising endeavors into the realm of digital therapeutics and even certain psychedelics, such as the carefully regulated use of MDMA for post-traumatic stress disorder. Advancements in technology have birthed innovative approaches to anxiety management. Digital applications integrating CBT and meditation, much like all-encompassing toolkits, make treatment accessible. Additionally, their powerful reach normalizes mental health discussions. The support of social groups nurtures the sense of community, making it an essential cog in the wheel of anxiety management. The road to mastering anxiety is paved with treatments as diverse as the condition itself, highlighting the significance of ongoing exploration and custom-built therapeutic combinations. The relationship between chronic stress and anxiety disorders becomes increasingly apparent when we observe the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal or HPA axis. Under the spell of stress, this complex set of interactions goes awry, causing an overproduction of the hormone cortisol, leading us down a slippery slope towards anxiety disorders. Comprehending this linkage is essential as it sheds light on the biological blueprint of our stress and anxiety responses and opens a window into how constant strain can etch patterns into our neural pathways. Strategies combating this stress-anxiety cycle exist, with physical exercise reigning as one, it's said to maintain a dance of balance within the HPA axis. The art of meditation, too, offers a refuge, its gentle touch enhancing mindfulness to evaporate stress. CBT, or cognitive behavioral therapy, warrants a mention as it empowers individuals to remodel their negative thoughts into a positive architectural marvel, thereby providing relief from the exhausting clasp of anxiety. Existing at the junction of physiological and psychological understandings of anxiety, these strategies offer a promising way forward. The image accompanying this analysis visually represents the workings of our mind when dealing with anxiety, inviting a holistic understanding of the condition. As we wrap up our comprehensive journey to understand anxiety, it is important to remember its defining characteristics in their biological and psychological contexts. We can see how far we have come from attributing anxiety to supernatural influences to comprehending its underlying neurobiology and the significant roles of the neurotransmitters serotonin GABA and the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal HPA axis. In terms of treatment, various strategies have emerged, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, medication, lifestyle changes, and even digital therapies. The societal and cultural perspectives surrounding anxiety have significantly influenced its perception and management. Its impact extends beyond mental health, affecting various physical systems like the cardiovascular and gastrointestinal systems. Hence, treatment strategies need to be personalized, combining various approaches to address an individual's unique condition. With the advent of digital therapies and even a potential role for psychedelics, the future of anxiety management promises more effective and holistic treatment strategies. This is a testament to our understanding that anxiety, albeit complex, can be navigated using precise and scientifically backed interpretations resonating with our evolving understanding of the human psyche.